Hello everyone. I hope you've all been well. I'm doing well myself. And I'm finally back for another tutorial. In this tutorial, I thought it might be interesting to talk about a function that really isn't discussed very much, and that is depth map. So what I'm going to do is start off by creating a document here. 1280 by 1024 is good. And I'm going to flood fill this with brown. Now, after choosing uh, the brown color and filling there, we're going to go right down here to Add Layer Depth Map. When we click on that, you'll notice that we go to grayscale up here with white and black choices in color. I'm going to flip it to white, and I'm going to select this brush, it's 32 points. I'm going to show you then that when you draw on there with white, it makes a raised area. And I'll just write my name on there. If I switch to black, black does the opposite of white and cuts through the raised areas. Now the interesting thing about this let me just undo that. Is if you're into map making, this can be a very handy tool. I'm going to show you how we do that. I'm going to say new to start a new document. And we will switch over to that. I am going to flood fill my new document with white. Just like that. And I'm going to go to... Uh, Effects, Other, Plasma, and we're just going to pick a random seed here, like that maybe, like that up here I guess, and we're going to say OK. Now this we are going to uh, go up here, we're going to Adjust, and Curves. We're going to take, take this down a little bit this up a little bit. Really make a nice delineation between black and white and say OK. And for this image, we only need it for a second. We're going to say copy and then we can just close it. We don't really need it anymore. And we're going to say no to that. And now we choose select and we select our entire area. We make sure that the depth map is selected, the thumbnail over here, and we're going to simply say edit, paste, into selection. And there you go, we have like a land mass. We're going to deselect that, and if you want to make it look especially like land, of course you'll figure out your own ways to do such things, but one thing you can do is uh, select the lowest parts of the image, just like that. Give yourself a new layer. And then pick a nice blue color. Like that. And just flood fill your selection. And deselect that. It's just kind of a quick and simple way of making a landmass. You could do all sorts of things with that. <coughs> I'm going to select a drop shadow for the, for the water. And in that way, it makes it actually look a little bit more like water and land. So there you go. That's just a sample of how you use Depth Map. Uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. And I probably will see you again next year.